please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEX scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 Mathematics B questionnaire. The answer key and original questions are linked in the description. Problem 1 of 1 reads as follows. The largest one among natural numbers that are less than log of 3 base 2 times log of 4 base 3 times log of 5 base 4 all the way to log of 2020 base 2019 is blank. The key to solving this problem is the following identity. If you have a number p and q, you have log of q base p. This can also be expressed as the log of q, that is this number here, base some number b all over log of p. So this p becomes the number here, and again base b so the b's are the same the bases are the same it doesn't matter what the base is and your q goes here your p goes here now we have a few restrictions first is that we we want b p and q to be positive numbers we don't want them to be zero or less because if it's less than zero then we don't know how to define log and when it's zero we don't also know how to define log when it's zero so we want them to be greater than zero and we have an additional restriction that b and p should not be equal to one because if b and p were one then one would be the base and one to any number would always be one so we can't get q if q is not one so we, we, we'd want to restrict b and p to be not one okay but any anything else is fine anything that is not one and anything that is positive so just an example, if we have this expression log of 2 to the 100 base 2, so right off the bat we know that because this is base 2, then the answer to this would be 100, right? The 2 here and the 2 here sort of cancels each other. But if we use this identity, we can also arrive at the same conclusion. So this expression now becomes log of 2 to the 100, and now the base here Let's assume this to be the natural logarithm, that is base e. And so this bit here goes here, and the base here goes here. Now the properties of logarithms allow us to, to move the exponent outside. So the 100 goes here, and we're left with log 2 inside. We have log 2 divided by log 2, and they cancel, and we're left with, again, 100. So it's the same as just canceling the basis and this argument here. And again, you notice that if we had b, let's say 1, so we will have a problem here, a problem here because 1 raised to any number does, never, does not become 2 at all. So we don't want b and p to be 1. Now let's use the identity that we've learned in the previous slide to actually solve the problem. We begin by defining the given as the number L. So this is just for convenience. Now if we use the identity, we can expand these terms, the individual terms, and we get the following. Log of 3 base 2 now becomes this fraction, log of 3 divided by log of 2. And again, the bases here do not matter because anything, any number would work except those that are restricted in the previous slide. So just for this solution, let's say that the base is E or the natural logarithm. So this log here is the natural logarithm of 3 and natural logarithm of 2. Now we do that for the next factor. We get log of 4 over log of, log of 3. And we do that for all the terms. and then the last term would be log of 2020 over log of 2019. Now we notice that when written this way, this bit here cancels with this bit. This bit cancels with this bit, and that continues until log of 2019. So we are left with two terms, this bit 
and this bit. And so our expression now becomes this one here. And again, we use the identity to reduce it to the following expression. And we put the base, this denominator now becomes the base here. And this one goes here. And then we can write this. This is equivalent to this expression, which is 2, the base, 2 to the L exponent equals 2020. And now we notice the following. We notice that 2 to the 10 is 1024, 1024. Then we have 2 to the L is 2020, and 2 to the 11 is actually 2048. So 2020 falls between 2 to the 10 and 2 to the 11. And so we can say that actually L falls between 10 and 11, and that's because the, the logarithmic and the exponential function are both monotonic and increasing, which means that the pattern of it increasing from 10 to L, L to 11 is preserved. And so we can just get the logarithm of, of both sides and, and we can still arrive at this conclusion. So the answer, the natural number that we're looking for, is the number 10. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!